But now for the first of the uh, a really iconic uh, level theme in the series, which is the minecart riding section uh, levels. There, there are only a few, a couple of these in this game, but the I know, I know in uh, in the second game they do a lot more of these, and it's actually pretty fun. Uh, this one they kind of just stick to ba mostly basic stuff. Just go across a track, avoid things, and just get to the to the end. The other, well, I don't know about three, but two does a lot more interesting things. Like it actually does races and stuff. But here you just kind of avoid stuff, which you know it, it works. I just. Yeah, as, as basic as this game can, like, seems, it's actually, uh, well designed with what it has. Like, it doesn't... Okay. <laughs> okay. I will do this. You can actually skip this entire s level, but I can't... I don't really want to do that. If I take forever, then, yeah. Oh, I missed, dang it. Yeah, unlike uh, the modern Donkey Kong games, you don't need the Kong letters in order to get like a secret or anything, but it just... It just gives you a one-up after you get a co the all the Kong letters, which is nice still, but... And yeah. Alright. Oh no, I needed that. I didn't need it, but... I used to avoid these guys. Oh! Ah! It gets a little bit tight. Okay. Yay! Oh, so one thing I want to point out is that when we... Oh, man. Fail. When we go here, your instinct is to jump up to the bananas, and then you see a guy riding by. It's like the game telling you that these are the enemies you have to avoid from this point on, without, like, actively saying it to you, like, like face to, f like, uh, directly, like, oh, there's a... I don't know, like, um... A hint thing comes up and it says, Oh, these guys are coming down here on the, from the other side. Jump to avoid them, otherwise you'll get hit. It doesn't say that, it's just, it shows you through gameplay, which is something I think a lot of vid a, a ga video games should do more of. Like, just, you play yourself to your own, like, you play by your own, uh, like, what, what do you call What would you call it like at your own pace there you go and like the game shows you how to do new things or what to avoid that's coming up later um in a cleverer way compared to just doing a a, a generic tutorial or something and i really need to stop dying here all right Okay. Okay, at least we can just keep getting lives. So just do a little tap jump.
cool. Okay. We finally did it. <laughs> Took way too many tries, but we're good. Okay. Yeah, I... As you can tell, I'm kind of sucky at the... I'm not the best at the, uh... The, uh... Was it the minecart levels? I'm good at them in the in the, the uh, modern Donkey Kong Country games, but not the originals. Like I do like I like what they did with the ones in D DKC2, but I'm still not the greatest at them. <laughs> so hopefully we can get some of our lives back. All right. Nice. Woo! <laughs> but yeah, um, we got what? Uh, we've got a bun quite a bunch of those, quite a lot of those uh, little animal token things now at this point. So. Might as well explain like what they are. Uh, basically, if you get three of uh, the same token, you'll get a um, you go to a bonus little bonus mini game, which essentially lets you play as the animal buddy that you got the tokens for, and it lets you rack just rack up a bunch of uh, points by getting like little mini tokens in the level or in the in the mini game rather, and what is it? You get a bunch of mini tokens, and when you get every 100 is a 1-up, so just get as many as you can. And there's also a bonus, like, times 2 area that you can find in every one, which is usually pretty hidden. You have to go out of your way to find a lot of them. I only know where a couple of them are. Um, I think they're always the same when for the specific uh, challenges, like for Rambi it's always going to be in the same area and all that, but they're different depending on the animal buddy you're doing. And I kind of sometimes get the one in on, on guards by complete accident sometimes, but okay, <laughs> I was trying to jump on that. Um, but there's only like one or two that I know for certain, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll try and uh, find them, I suppose, because again, the more, the more lies we can find, the better, or get, I guess. Again, this is a pretty hard game, all things considered. Get back in here. You know, I'm gonna get the frog or the uh, what, what you, whatever you call it. This time I actually want to get that checkpoint. No, don't go too far. Yep. I can't reach it. Or can we? Yes, we can. Ha. No. <laughs> ah. Get you right back. And now for another one. Okay, well, we're just getting this guy. I forget this guy's name, though. Like, I only know... I remember... Uh, was it? Unguard, Rambi. But that's about it. Like... 
Hmm. I don't know. Those are just the two most memorable ones for me. Okay. Oh, that could have been bad. That was. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect it to actually hit me. Probably should have expected it. Yeah, boy. <laughs> okay. I can still make it up. Dance. Ugh. Come on. Alright, one more try. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and... Oh! I guess another thing to bring up is that, um, this is pretty, uh, big stuff at the time, like, uh, visually, because it's, like, fully 3D rendered, uh, like, character models and, uh, like, a 3D looking environment back on the SNES, which... was pretty, uh, well, I, I can't say, like, I was, like, around during that time, but I can imagine it was pretty, that was, that would have been pretty big for the time, and, and just hear, like, stories about how, uh, apparently developers just had, um, and, like, things down, uh, being put onto the game overnight, like, that's how much, how much, uh, Effort they had to, they had to put into it, especially for with this uh, hardware. Like it, as SNES isn't really the most powerful system by this, uh, like, well anymore or anything like that. Back then it was like I think it was more powerful than the Mega Drive overall. Didn't have as much, uh, um processing power or whatever, but everything else I think was uh better for the most for the most part. I don't know for certain, like I don't know everything about those two systems because I don't really exactly own one. I'm just going by what people have said and just stuff online. Which you most of the time you can own that that stuff only goes really so far. But um Oh, I thought that was a secret. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, okay, let's just go by the... This is actually one of the... An instance of... You can just skip a level completely. So if you went back... You should just go back there. Oh god. That was bad. You can't kill those guys. But yeah, just go back. And you're done! <laughs> oh man. It's just kind of funny. But we saw most of it, so... Didn't feel like doing it again. And secret. Ah. Yeah, you can't. The thing is, you can't move after that, so. It just feels really good to find secrets and stuff. Like, well, that goes for really any game, but. Like. I don't know, there's just something about getting secrets in this game that just feels so rewarding every time you get hit. Especially when you hear like the do 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 theme going on. And just, I don't know, it just feels really rewarding. Ah ha ha. 
Oh man. Yeah! Okay. We will get to one of those bonuses one day. <laughs> Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh. Yo! Okay, so that was a green one. So it's kind of like the mini games in Banjo Tui in the sense that it's like red's one, green's two, blue's three. The same with the lies in this game, so yeah. Greens and blues are really rare though. Um, you'll find reds around levels occasion on occasion, but with greens and blues, most of the time they're only going to be in specific mini games. So, and even then, most of the time you have to be extra good at the mini game to be able to get it in the first place. So, yeah, it's not exactly the easiest, but most of the time it's sh well. Sometimes it shouldn't be too much of an issue because ones of Ones I know for a fact that have blues are ones that have the uh, the little the like the like the conglomerates like, where it had had us spell out rare. Um, some of those have like three different parts to them, and each part gives you a, a uh, balloon. One red, the second green, third's blue. Some of them, some of them do that, and that's those are the only ones I know for certain that have blues in them. Other than that, I'm not really too sure, but either way. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? I pro- Oh, man. Okay. Don't just fall on them. I thought it would have just activated a jump on them by just by landing on them. Oh, well. It's a good thing explosions don't kill me. <laughs> but yeah, like... Even on the GB Game Boy Color, like, this game always impressed me as a kid. Like, I don't know, it's just, I just like the style that's, that's going on, that has, that has it going on, the game has going on, I guess, and it's just a nice game to look at, even, even to this day, like, you just like falling and just like seeing how pits kill you and make your balloons pop. <laughs> I don't know. But, um... No, I just like I really like the style of this game that get the, this game has. It's I still I still think it holds up pretty well. Like it, it's obviously not the best looking game now, but even even then, I still think it's a nice little style that this game has going on that really not no any other game has. Um, well, I'm not saying that no other game has like does this whole kind of 3D rendering setup, but, like, in this game style, I guess. Like, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but I feel like this game just kind of has its own identity that no other game really has in terms of how it looks. Maybe that's just me, but that's just kind of how I feel. Um, I'm talking the 1, 2, and 3, all of them together. Like, I'm not to say, I'm not talking about just this game alone, but yeah, just the Donkey Kong Country trilogy, I guess. And now for our second boss. But first, let's go to Cranky for a little bit. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, so wait. You can't do it after a while. Okay, then. Alright, so second boss time. And okay, also that guy, Espresso, is an animal body we haven't found yet, so I'll talk about that later. But yeah, this guy, um, I forget his. <laughs> I forget a lot of the enemies' names, but yeah, this guy just jump on his beak and just avoid his little coconut things. That's really about it. And he's done. Yeah. <laughs> I took a stupid hit though, but... But jeez, Donkey Kong, like... Just with the two, um, 
banana hordes we've seen already from the bosses, that's already a crazy amount of, like, bananas in your collection, like, bruh. <laughs> Oh, man. But yeah, uh, well, I do like how this game actually encourages you, kind of encourages, uh, what is it? Okay, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna actually focus right now. Oh, okay. Okay, now I can actually see one of these things. All right, so basically, just go around with the animal buddy. You don't have Donkey Kong or Diddy around at all, but it's all good. And you just get all these mini tokens. Get as many as possible. I like to get around 400 and then get the double. Because then, yeah, 8 lives is always pretty decent for this. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Three hundred is enough as well, I guess. Let's try and get go the extra mile. Or not? No, let's. Oh, come on! Didn't get it. Still. Three lives, not bad. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> 